We're back with Chris Chun and Mitch Lawrence with the YMCA of Northwest North Carolina. We're talking swimming and all kinds of water safety things. All right, Mitch, this person says, are you supposed to take a shower before you get in the pool and why? Yep, so we actually do recommend showering before entering our pool facilities. Once you've entered the water, all the things that you have on your body, oils and sweats and all those different things, lotions, they come off in the, the pool facility water. And unfortunately, the disinfectant that we use, which is chlorine, uh, sometimes it binds to those other substances and it doesn't do as good of a job disinfecting the pool water or it, br it brings our chlorine levels down to a rate where we have to add more chlorine and, and then it can cause some skin irritation and other things. So what we like to do is keep the pool nice and balanced with a very standard chlorine level that is recommended by the health department for each county and for the state of North Carolina. And in order to keep that balance, if we can have folks shower before they enter the facility, it just helps the chlorine bind to things that it actually needs to bind to and not those other substances. Okay. Uh, Chris, this person says, I'm seeing social media posts about not getting children blue or green swimsuits because of visibility. Is there anything to this? Sure. Um, what, what I would tell you is um, do what you feel is best for your child and you and what makes you feel safe. Um, yeah, there are probably some, some concerns around blue or green uh, bathing suits because it is hard to to see, especially if kids are going underwater, um, if they are swimming from one end of the shallow end to the other. Um, so, I, you know, I would recommend if what's safe for you. And so if that's a red swimsuit, an orange swimsuit, a black swimsuit, um, I would just tell you, make sure you feel comfortable um, with your kids that are in and around water. Okay, Mitch, this person's asking, how deep does water have to be for you to dive in? There's all kinds of like swimming holes and you're jumping off stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So the American Red Cross actually recommends that the water depth be at least nine feet to dive head first. So all of our facilities that have pools that are less than nine feet, we have the no diving signs posted. The only time that we allow diving is with a sanctioned event, like a swim team or a swim meet or something like that where those swimmers are actually trained to dive where they don't go deep in the water. But again, the American Red Cross recommends at least nine feet for a regular standard surface dive. So if the pool or the facility or the pond or whatever it is that you're diving into is not at least nine feet, I would steer clear. Okay, we've got about a minute and a half. Chris, I'm curious about the water wings. Lots of parents use them. Sure, great question. Um, I, what I, my personal opinion is water wings, we um, do not recommend the use of water wings. Um, water wings can deflate, they can pop, and um, if you are not within arm's reach, your child could slip underneath the water. Um, so again, like I showed earlier in the segment, um, I we recommend life jackets and they need to be Coast Guard approved life jackets. So this is a standard life jacket. And the way that you can tell if the life jacket is U.S. Coast Guard approved, on the back there is a seal or a, a stamp, and it will tell you that it is U.S. Coast Guard approved. Again, water wings, um, I do not recommend them. Um, we do not allow those in uh, the YMCA of Northwest North Carolina facility uh, because they do, you run the risk of them popping or deflating and falling off of a child's arm. Okay, that is good to know because I bet a lot of parents have them right now and they're going to pack them in the car for the beach. So we want to make sure that they get something that may be a little bit safer for them. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us uh, today, sharing your wisdom and your expertise. If you missed anything, maybe you need a family member to hear one of the answers to one of those questions that we just had. Go to the two wants to know section of our website.